Oh, I'm in the way. Me shadow is in the way. So this is if I'm I think I you know what I'm gonna be honest y'all I think it's white pomegranate I think that's what all of them is but I don't know if it's other stuff it is what it is but so I planted the white pomegranate seeds in here and I think all four of those are white pomegranate so I got all it is from pit stop kitchen and garden if y'all are not watching that channel which I mentioned them before y'all go watch the channel I didn't show me uh, potting up the cuttings because I got them. The sun was headed down and I wanted to go ahead and get them in a pot. Um, they were still green. I, I cut the, the ends off of them. They were still green. Uh, I could see the cambium layer pretty good. Um, of course, the leaves dried up, but that's no biggie. That's going to happen in transport. Um, and the seeds actually still look pretty good. So I just I planted all those. I just did that yesterday. So thanks, Pit Stop Kitchen and Garden. I appreciate that. And um, I am. I also got a a mail call from Color Rockout. So let me see what she sent you, girl. Whew, that chair hot. That is baking my Heineken. I mean, cooking my behind. I ain't gonna be able to handle that. I'm gonna have to come around here, y'all. It's still kind of warm in the south. Okay, so let me see here and see what she sent me. Oh, she sent me some bubble wrap. I'm kidding, y'all. I grabbed that in it. Ooh, I don't know what's in there. Ooh, I'm gonna have to read that. Y'all can't, y'all can't know my government. Y'all can't know my government name. Ooh, a notepad. She said it's a, it's an inspiration, inspirational quote book. Ooh, and it's got a dream catcher on it. That must be because all black people have Native American in them, right? At least that's what they try to tell in a minute. I might be doing too much. Because I have dropped that on the ground. I'm going to have to edit this. Okay, I ain't going to read this right quick. But, yeah, that's, that's cute. Oh, I like, I like. Wait a minute. This is what I was looking for. So I think this might be the business. Oh, shucky now. I'm going to have to open that up further. Ooh, dragon's tail radish. Y'all know your girl loves seeds. Even though I have too many. Mixed greens. Let me see. Purple top. Seven top. Southern giant. Florida. Broad. I know y'all can't read that. I'm, I'm going to read it for you. Oh, it's a whole bunch of mixed greens in there. Ooh, black sesame. Oh, yes. That's what it do there. Egyptian spinach, malochia. Yeah, I, I needed some more seeds of that. I didn't save seeds from my malochia. And this is jambalaya okra. Oh, yeah, I want a jambalaya okra. I've heard it's pretty good. And this is blondie okra. Oh, that's what it do there. Okay, let me open this. It might be... Oh, no, it's just paper. Okay, so, y'all go check out Color Rock House channel. She sent me all these lovely seeds. Them mixed greens might get planted here in a minute, believe that. Um, because I know all those mixed greens should be cool weather. Yeah, I might go ahead and plant them. Anyway, so I just wanted to do them two mail calls real quick. Um, I'm keeping this video, uh, keeping this video real short, and I just want to tell Pit Stop and um, and uh, Color Rock Out that I really, truly appreciate the gifts. I'm going to put them to use Pit Stop. You can see I've already planted up your stuff, and videos to come on Color uh, Color Rock Out on the seeds. So, yeah. Um, is it anything I need to show you? Because this video is kind of short. I don't like my videos being less than 10 minutes. YouTube don't like that either for content creators in case you didn't know that. They don't like uh, less than 10 minute videos. Uh, the algorithm doesn't favor you when it's less than 10 minutes. Even though I know people's attention spans don't favor you either when it's less than 10 minutes. But we won't get on that. It's not really anything to show, honestly. Everything, my, my figs still haven't went to sleep, which is interesting. Um, I repotted the LSU Golds. And, um... They actually put their leaves back out. They had gone dormant and they 
brought the leaves back out. I wanted to show y'all this right quick. Um, if anybody knows what this plant is, tell me. It grows just like it's in the mint family. But I got this from my neighbor. And isn't it gorgeous? It's super gorgeous. I got some mulberry cuttings in there as well. That's why the leaves on them look horrific. But this here didn't even droop at all. Um, it looks like it's in the mint family. And if it is in the mint family, uh, it's going to root just like mint. Mint is so easy to root. It's unreal. Um, it usually won't even droop on you. Especially if you keep it in the shade. Um, my kale fell over. I need to put a, a post on that. A, a bamboo pole on that. Okra still flowering. Um, yeah, I mean, everything's looking good. The um, black cherry is back to doing what it do. Let me show y'all over here with this leaf. This leaf cutter bug. All over everything. It's crazy. But yeah. Um, my okra is looking good. It's got a lot of flowers on it. Uh, that one, it got kind of cool one night. And the leaves kind of... When it gets cool on okra, the leaves will do this. It'll kind of burn them a little bit. And it don't take much either. It got out in a 40-something... The wind was blowing. Y'all can see what happened, but it didn't kill it though. I, I picked some okra off of it today. It had a flower open earlier. But yeah, everything's looking good. Um, oh God, yes sir. How may I help you? You can see this thing is just getting massive. Absolutely massive. Um, let me show y'all. Ow, ow, ow. I'm stepping on pine cones, barefooted. I know y'all gonna say, well, put some shoes on. I'll, I'll be all right. Um, I wanted to show y'all this. This poblano. This, these poblanos, now that they're making peppers, they are not playing. And y'all, this was a store-bought pepper that I just, I, I took the seeds and planted them. It took a while for it to get right and come on, but it came on, and I will be overwintering this pepper. So, And I know my shadow's in the way, but... Y'all get ready for that pepper. Y'all get ready for that one. A couple of tomatoes I missed. I just let those go to seed. Um, I, my Swiss chard did come up. I got, I'm got. i growing Fordham. Whatever it is, that's one right there. You can always tell by the red stem. Carrots over there look good. Been picking and shelling peas every day. So, um, There's some more Swiss chard. Came up over here. All those little babies. So... Um, but yeah, that's about it. Oh, let me tell y'all about the, uh, about the, about the, uh, tree, tree college. That's fig in the middle. Uh, Violet de Bordeaux. Oh, butterfly. Look at them. See there? Y'all see what I'm talking about, about the marigolds? Seems like marigolds bring more butterflies than anything, and butterflies is what lay them caterpillars. But anyway. The uh, tree collars, all of them took. The ones with uh, rooting hormone and without, they all took. Uh, not one of them failed. Um, my African potato mint is looking really, really good. I got some kaolettes in there. I need to, I'm going to wait till those kaolettes get a little bit bigger. This is avocado right here. I'm going to wait till the kale lets get a little bit bigger and I'm going to get them out. Then watch this. Had some eggplants. Seeds never would come up. Just threw the seeds down in there like, hmm, they not going to come up. Every last one of them came up. What's with that? Like when I wanted eggplant to come up, it wouldn't come up. Uh, still got guama cheese. Um, I don't need this many guama cheese. I'm more than likely going to sell those guama cheese come spring. Um, as well as my pomegranate. So anybody needing wonderful pomegranate. But I ain't got many of the guama cheese. If you want some of them, you know, when I say they for sale, you better get on it. Um, I got a whole lot of marigold seeds. Anybody who want marigold seeds, get them from me because I'm never growing marigolds again. I've kind of resigned myself to that. Um, oh, yeah. This is what you need to do to your watermelons to get them to grow. Cuss them. 
the bleep out. You don't have to cuss them every day. Just cuss them from time to time. And I'm going to show y'all what I walked up on the other day. Walked up on them. So after I cuss them, I cuss them out once a week. That's how they hold on to their watermelon. So I think I found, found out that, you know, watermelons is into abusive treatment. So I'm going to keep doing that. Just keep cussing your watermelon. But anyway, October, watermelons on the vine. Still need to collect my poke seeds. Show y'all how to do that. Uh, lots of okra up there in the front going to see. Y'all see my collards. They came back loverly. They still not in, but this ain't nothing up. They wait till they get the full glory. Just wait. But um, that's my 10 minutes, y'all. That's my time. Uh, last little thing. I shipped off some comfrey today. If you want some comfrey, I still got comfrey left, y'all. This is my little nurse tray here. I still got comfrey, so those of y'all that want comfrey, you better get at me. Because uh, the comfrey's been selling. Alright, so till next time, me and the pineapples and the lemongrass and the celery. <laughs> I know I got random stuff. And the, and the lady cream pea that the birds planted that's growing up my railing. We will see you guys later.